Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Microsoft Word web app inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will look at downloading and installing the necessary components needed for us to get started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So Microsoft Office or Office is a client software, server software and services developed by Microsoft. And Microsoft Word is just a word processing software developed by Microsoft, like I said earlier on. So rather than just talking too much, let's get to the real stuff. So to be able to get started, please make sure that you have a Visual Studio 2022 installed. So if that's the case, then let's open a Visual Studio installer. So as you can see, I'm using the community, uh, the 2022 community version, yeah? So if you've got that sorted out, yeah, let's click on the modify. So once, once we've got these workloads opened, we scroll down. So as you can see, we've got Office and slash SharePoint development. So this will actually help you to create Office and SharePoint add-ins, SharePoint solutions and VSTO add-ins using C Sharp, VB and JavaScript, yeah? So to be able to build your Microsoft Word web app inside of Visual Studio, you have to make sure that you've got this box checked. Yeah, so once you've got this box checked, as you can see, I've already got it installed, so there's no need for it. But if you haven't, then you check on this box here, and what you see, you, you, you will be able to see the required space needed for you to install it. Yeah, so if everything is fine, then you click, you click download and install from here. Yeah. So once you have the download and installation completed, then we can close the, um, the Visual Studio installer. So now that you've got the downloaded installation completed, then we can open the, we can start a new project. Let's use the start window. So here we can create a new project. So as you can see here now, we've got a bit of um, Office, um, Office software actually installed here. Oh, we've got a bunch of templates here. So what we do is we actually select the C sharp option, yeah? So this will actually highlight what sort of um, Office software or Office solutions that we can build using the C sharp, yeah? In our case, we're looking for a Word document. So we can actually go to the project types here and select Office. So this will actually show all the related templates that we can use. So we scroll down. So we scroll all the way down to Word. So this is the Word web, web add-ins. So this is a project for extending Microsoft Office Word. The Word web add-ins extends the, the Word user interface and provide new, new features that interact with the documents, right? So we select this bit here, then we go on next. So here, what we can do is actually configure the project details, but there's no need for that actually. So we're just going to leave it as it is and we click on the create. So this might actually take a while. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing loads. Yeah. So as you can see here now, we've got the project templates created for us. And if we look inside the solutions, we've got two projects, yeah? So let me just, so now we've got um, the Word Web Admins, yeah? So we can look at the manifest here. So this is a bunch of descriptive, descriptive codes describing what is inside our, uh, our web addings, yeah? So you can take your time and have a look properly, but we're not gonna look too much into that, yeah? So we're just gonna collapse this bit and open the, the Word Web Addings to Web. So if we look at it here, uh, we've got a bunch of folders and some files here. First, first, 
first bit is we've got contents that actually contains the CSS files and the SASS files as well. And we've got the functions. We've got one in HTML and one in um, JavaScript. So basically, as you can see, there's nothing inside here. It's just a it's just a boilerplate for you to create whatever you want. So as you can see, this video is actually to get us started here. So as you can see, uh, there's something here. We've added the TypeScript and there's some error sharing on there's a notice. Uh, TypeScript file to your project to enable TypeScript compilation in your project. Please install the Microsoft.TypeScript.ms build page. Alternatively, it can be installed later by using the NuGet package. So we can install that adding using the NuGet, yeah? So now we're just going to close the um, collapse this bit here. And then we look at the script here. So this script all contains all the uh, necessary JavaScript needed for the project. Okay. And we've got um, the folder here that contains a bit of um, uh, office related JavaScript here. Yeah? And then we've got the home CSS and the home.html. So this is basically. Um, a bunch of boilerplates for you to get started. Yeah. It's not too much, but obviously this video is to get us started. Yeah. And then we've got the home.js as well. So this is a bunch of JavaScript here yeah? to get us started as well. Yeah. So as you can see, there's nothing really, really fanciful going here. So basically, let's run it to see what actually comes out of it. Yeah. So we can. Click on the F5 or we just click on this start button to, to run it. So let's see what actually comes out of it here. So let me let me draw this down. So basically we can we're just gonna use the Microsoft Edge. So we click on the start, yeah. So this actually opens a new a new word document so as you can see i don't have a subscription so there's nothing really showing up here yeah so basically before you actually get it, before you can do this and run this properly you have to make sure that you're subscribed to microsoft i mean office or microsoft office whatever you want to call it yeah so if that's the case <clears throat> then you'll be able to run it properly right but obviously this video is to get us to this point that you can actually run it so yeah, to 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 uh, to actually to be able to start running it properly, you need that. You need to be subscribed to Office as well. Yeah, so um, I, I will make a later on video once I get that subscription issue it's sorted out. Yeah, so I will leave it here after this now, and I hope this actually helps you to get you started in terms of building your uh, Microsoft Word add-ins. Yeah, so once again. I will actually come back to this topic. So please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. And have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.